What's up guys, Christian Krasuski here with CK Strength. Today we're talking about free weights and how to identify them. So first up, in terms of free weights, you're gonna to wanna to know the 45 pound barbell. So you can generally recognize this, it's got two rings on either side in the main knurling here. And as you can see, the center knurling is quite small, about the size of your hand. So if you're able to find a barbell that's got two rings, looks like a regular barbell, and has knurling about the size of your hand, that's probably a 45 pound standard bar. If you see a zigzag bar like this, a little shorter, this is the easy bar. This is oftentimes used for curls and tricep extensions. These are usually about 25 pounds. These can vary gym to gym. Just write down 25 pounds so you can keep track of your workouts. And if you see one of these bars with handles that are held at your sides, this is a trap bar. You're gonna use this for deadlifts and it is great for beginners and especially if you're worried about your back. And if you see this bright, colorful assortment of plates, these big red ones are kilo plates and they are not 45 pounds. If you're a newbie in the gym, just steer clear of this weight set. Next, you're gonna to wanna to know your standard plates to load the barbell with. So most plates at most gyms, they're gonna have the 45 pound plate as the main plate that you're gonna use. After that, after that, you've got the 25 pound plate as the most common next biggest jump. Most gyms usually have a pair of 10s, they've got fives, and the smallest plate you can usually load is a two and a half pound plate. I call these chips. Other common free weight implements include dumbbells and kettlebells. Dumbbells are great because you can hold one in each hand and do all sorts of upper and lower body exercises. Kettlebells are oftentimes held two hands. You can do all sorts of exercises like deadlifts, goblet squats, and kettlebell swings. And this is a medicine ball. This one's made of rubber that's meant to be picked up and slammed into the floor. This one's made to not break or bounce up and hit you in the face. Make sure it's not an actual rubber ball. Heading over here, you have the soft fabric medicine ball. This one is meant to be thrown at the wall. It is soft so it doesn't destroy your walls. Do not bounce this one into the ground. It may rebound and hit you in the face. So this is your weight sled, usually located on a turf or carpet in your gym. You can load this one with 45 pound plates. Just load them up on the center post of your sled. Sleds are great because you can do sled pushes and do a hard push or a sprint with your sled. You are also able to do sled drags. Usually you'll have some handles or TRX straps and you can just drive backward, crouching into it and doing a little knee extension to pull backward. Just like this. Whew. Excellent. If you found this video useful, be sure to click the like button and don't forget to subscribe, click the bell for notifications. And remember, if you wanna make progress, then you've gotta make progress. CK Strength, I'll see you guys later.